I'm Sarah Mearns, and here I am dancing two character roles from The Sleeping Beauty, Carabas and the Lilac Fairy. This is the prologue, which is when the princess is still a little baby. Before Carabas comes on, there's a whole scene where someone runs in and they say that Carabas is here and that she's upset that she has not been invited to the party. And then all of a sudden, I come storming in on my carriage with my little bug helpers. And Carabas is explaining to everybody she will grow up. And with that spindle, she will prick her finger and die. And I was told when I was trying to find my way in this character is that she's not mean. She is just evil to the core. The costume helps a lot because it's such a fabulous costume. And just when you put it on, you already feel evil. You also feel beautiful, and you have to assume that as well when you go on stage through your gestures and through your stance. Every little part of your body is so important to your acting in this role because you're not dancing. You don't have point shoes on. You don't lift your leg up. You don't jump. It's all about your facial expressions, your hands, your gestures, your upper body, where you look, the tilt of your head. It all plays into the character. Now you see me playing the role of Lilac Fairy. I've done the Lilac Fairy since I was 16 years old. The Lilac Fairy is the exact opposite in her heart and soul than the Carabas. And I'm explaining that her plan is not going to work, that the princess will grow up and she will be very beautiful. She will prick her finger, but she will not die she will go and have a very long sleep. Pantomime is pretty specific. There are definite positions that you make that mean certain things everywhere in the world in any production that you watch. Death is the same, sleep is the same, wake up, they all are the same things because it has to be clear to the audience no matter what their ballet education is, they understand what that means. It's a universal language. 